don't get me wrong, I love Universal, but it really hasn't been on my radar this year. Welcome back to your Daily Dose. In between the parking garages here, it looks so cool because wait till these trees get tall, it's gonna look like an overgrown forest. I wonder if that's the vibe that they have going here at Universal. My shoes are squeaky. I'm a walking clown today. We're in August now, almost September, and I feel like I can count on one hand how many times I've been at Universal. I feel like it's been five, or maybe we'll go to two hands, eight times. I've only been here once a month, and now don't get me wrong though, I love Universal. It's a great adventure from what we're used to going to, such as Disney, other theme parks, cruises, but it just really hasn't been on my radar. Not too many people parking at 12 o'clock here. It's like bone dry. I feel this year we've been coming, or we've been discovering on how good Universal food is. We've been coming for the good vibes and obviously the great, the great attractions that they have here. And would you look at that? Attractions right this way. But I feel like something has been missing for me this year at Universal, kind of like the Universal sign that used to be here that I don't think is ever coming back. I think it's safe to say this sign is gone for good. I thought they were like cleaning it, but I think it's permanently gone. So I think it's the last time I cover that. I feel like, at least to me, Universal's kind of getting a little repetitive and dry, just coming as a regular and sort of kind of by myself all the time. I love coming when I'm with a lot, like a lot of people, a group of people, it's a whole different vibe. But for some reason, it just feels like it's very repetitive coming to Islands of Venture and Universal Studios. And honestly, if you guys can tell, other things have been really taking a priority this year over Universal, such as Disney, going on cruises. It really just hasn't been a top priority of mine to just come to Universal because really nothing compelling is drawing me back in besides their amazing food. And um, the only things that really get me hyped for Universal is Volcano Bay, coming with friends, or what we have right now, at least around the corner, Halloween Horror Nights which begins September 2nd, and a lot of you guys know Halloween is my favorite time of the year. However, we're not going to be making it to Halloween Horror Nights for a while. And let me tell you why. But first, let's go on in and check out these amazing updates that they have circulating around because Halloween Horror Nights is only a couple weeks away. Walking on in, I can already see some updates that you just know Horror Nights is around the corner. We've got some lights set on up like it's a movie production. Getting ready to light up this area. I can't wait till the new ornament goes up for Halloween Horror Nights. That's usually one of the last things they put up and same with all the banners. Gosh, can't wait. It's just unfortunate that we're not gonna be here for a while, but it's okay. It is okay, trust me. See these lights? That means Horror Nights. Horror lights, ha! Get it? Get it? Yeah, I think you guys do. Oh my goodness, baby. I think those are pumpkins. I love when you walk on in, you directly see the first scare zone. Mm. Oof. Oof. You know, I was just talking to my dad the other day, and I said, Dad, when I get a house, we are building a haunted house in a garage like we did growing up for like six years straight. And he didn't disagree. So hopefully next year we'll have a garage haunted house. Well, let's go check out Universal's haunted houses right now. And the cool thing about Universal still, you don't need a park reservation to get on in. But the downside to that is Universal does not cap capacity. Well, they probably do, but it never seems like they do. So it's always gonna feel busier here. Thanks. I'm pretty sure it's been, what, a solid month? Maybe even two since we've stepped foot in Universal? It's been that long. 
But here we go, our first scare zone, our first look at uh, Halloween Horror Nights. It is a pumpkin section. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh man, we're so, oh my God, there's one to the right too. Let's first check out this one. Another scare zone down there where there usually is one. Obviously during the day, this does no justice. Scare zones are the best at night, but it looks like we've got the pumpkin section. I'm sure it has a name. I haven't really done research on it. I just wanted to come here and kind of talk to you guys about the future of like the channel in a way. Maybe that might be tomorrow. Might mix it in with that. We've got a ton of pumpkins. Reminds me of the pumpkin house from last year. AKA the best house that they had. It smells like fresh paint too. The pumpkin section. What is this? I've never seen this, but this is actually kind of hysterical. <laughs> they put cones by a receipt. <laughs> That's funny. I've never seen that. It sort of kind of reminds me of the citizens of Hollywood that they still haven't brought back at Disney World. Come on, Disney. Wow. Being here before Horror Nights is making me feel like I have to come opening day. But we're not. And I actually don't know when I'm going to be coming to Horror Nights. Our channel is that busy. Here's the other scare zone. It's the cemetery. These are so well done. Nettlewoods Cemetery. I think this is like actually all set up as well, but probably besides the main stages that they'll have, this is actually really cool. Do not climb. One of the biggest scare zones that they have here. <laughs> the, the mystery machine's just sitting here. The cemetery. All right. Oh, these are like real trees too. It was nice running into you. Happy birthday. All right, I'll see you guys. See ya. That's awesome. It was his birthday, but here's another look at the cemetery. Cemetery, cemetery, what do you guys say? Cemetery, cemetery, cemetery. Or is just Kyle just mixing up words because it's Kyle's <laughs> being Kyle. Ooh, look at this one. Okay, Universal, I see ya. I see ya. Definitely today we're gonna get a look at all the scare zones. Huh. It's like some sort of plastic. I thought it was gonna be like a real cement statue. But the cool things about these, it's like movie props. I do know my dad and sister will be joining me on Horror Nights one of these nights. I think sometime in September. So I think September is gonna be our first night when we're here at Horror Nights. I gotta tell you guys why. Now, if you haven't really noticed, there's been a common trend this year on our channel, and that's really to do things that I ultimately love. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm about to say this. I don't really like to go to SeaWorld anymore because I don't really enjoy going to SeaWorld. And that's not saying that I don't like to go to Universal, but, because I do. It's just that I've been enjoying other things more than coming to Universal and I've decided not to go even to opening nights of Horror Nights. And the truth is we just really haven't had time as well to come here when uh, other things are taking priority over Universal or Islands of Adventure. I believe this is a Horror Nights booth getting set up. But um, we're coming up to a, another scare zone. It really does sort of kind of break my heart that I'm not going to be here for opening night, but it's always going to be here and we do have something more on brand for the channel than coming to Horror Nights on opening night. Can any guys guess what that is? When we are walking through a scare zone, they haven't really set up anything here. All we have is this. No idea what this is gonna be. You can tell that they're gonna be up there doing their scaring, at least that's what I'm thinking. But can anybody guess what we're gonna be doing instead? If you follow my Twitter, 
you'll probably already know. Because I had asked you guys, should I go somewhere else instead of coming to opening nights of Horror Nights? Oh, the food booths are even up. This is usually like the best section of Halloween Horror Nights, at least in my opinion, at least for food. This is where those like potato wraps are and the good drinks. Boy, it's hot out here though. It is hot. Nothing's changed in this section. Same three booths. Probably different menu, but same gist. And then we'll have, I believe, two haunted houses that way. Holy cow, it's killer out today. August needs to leave. We need October to cool down Florida. Do you guys hear the music? Remember when we went to Go Daddy Go at Epcot? I think this is them. I keep hearing go. Go daddy go. Voodoo daddy. Onward anyways. So the reason why we're not gonna be coming to opening nights of horror nights, I keep on feeling like I say nights a lot. Gosh, I feel like I'm crying. My sweat is just dropping down my face. We're going on a cruise. We're going on a cruise and I feel like that's just been what we've been doing this year. And I found a good deal on a nice cruise ship that we haven't been on. We've only been on this brand of cruise ships once. Can anybody guess it? Can anybody guess it? Another food stand. I think this is usually where the vegan one is. So I guarantee that's gonna be a vegan. Nice, nice uh, details there, lots of blood. But um, I just feel going on a cruise is more fitting than coming to Horror Nights on the first night, which I feel like a lot of you guys might agree because Horror Nights is always gonna be here. That cruise deal is not. And it's more fitting to what we've been doing and enjoying on the channel this year. Don't worry, we will be coming to Horror Nights. I just don't know when. Could be the second one, could be the third one. But I just wanna let you guys know why I'm not coming to Horror Nights and why I really haven't been to Universal at all. Cause I know some of you guys have been wondering, see some comments. I think you guys would understand. I feel like the cruise is just, I don't know. The cruise always gets me excited. But then again, so does Halloween. It was a tough choice. A very tough choice. What are you guys' thoughts? I'm excited, I hope y'all are. I know a lot of you guys are new here on the channel and um, Halloween Horror Nights is something that I usually enjoy off camera as well. It's kind of a bad event to film just because it's so dark, you know, and you can't really film the houses. It's more of like a social event that everyone down here just loves to come down to and it's, it's a blast. Who doesn't love to go in scary haunted houses that are really well done? It's, it's such a good event. It's just not really ideal for vlogs all the time. Don't worry, there will be some. It's just, you know, we already went on the rant about that. Today has really definitely been a walk and talk and kind of just, just vibe with me to make me feel like I'm not here alone. That's the thing, I feel like Universal is a really fun park with a lot of people and we just haven't had like the opportunity. I mean, look at the last times we were here with my sister, Taylor, I think that's the last few times we were at Universal and those were a blast. It's just like, it's meant for more than one person, you know? I enjoy it, but it's way more fun with other people and that's why Horror Nights is great too, with a group of people. Wow, look at this, <laughs> giant bunkin. Okay, I kinda like this. Gosh, I love Halloween. Ah. Oh. I did also read, I think this is only at Universal over in Hollywood. It would make sense that they brought it here too, but Death Eaters are gonna be running around, I think over at Universal Hollywood. I don't know why they wouldn't bring it here. I guess we'll have to wait and see, huh? I think tomorrow, I'm gonna give you guys a rest of the year roundup on what the plans are for the channel. So look out that for tomorrow. Oh, it smells like fish and chips. It smells like fish and chips. It may not look crowded, but always crowded in this area. And I hope I kind of explained that well on why we haven't been coming to Universal. We've just been so busy and things have been taking priority over Universal. I hope you guys understand. Still love Universal, but other things we've been focused on this year. Speaking of that, we have our cruise this week. I don't even think I announced what it is. Should I announce it right now? 
Maybe I'll do it tomorrow when we do like our life updates and whatnot. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. And then I'll also let you know what cruise ship we're going on instead of coming to Horror Nights because that's actually back to back. We uh, I think only have like a day, like a, actually not a day. We have like a whole week, four days, and then we go to Disneyland. <laughs> it's never ending. We just keep traveling. It's it's really the best time of the year. Never ending travel, I like to say. Coming up on another scare zone, it looks like trees is a vibe this year. At least the scare zones, they will have like these trees everywhere. So here we've got a main stage, looks like a witch's brewing pot. Also kind of looks like Doctor Strange's door in a way. Or like Wanda's scary door, because look, that looks like the eye. Doctor Strange stuff. This is definitely a witch thing. Something. And you know what? We might as well go over to the mummy because the mummy has been down for some time and it should be opening relatively soon. I bet you tomorrow when I post this video, the mummy will have reopened. It's usually how it works when you record a video and something's opening. It opens the next day. It's a YouTube jinx. Oh yeah, the mummy's opening any day for sure. Oh yeah. Not much setup though in this area for Horror Nights. This looks like to be like a, uh, a cornfield? I'm getting cornfield vibes. But uh, yeah, you can definitely tell something's brewing. Something is definitely brewing. Reopening late summer. I bet you it opens this weekend. Bet you any money, because I think there's maybe previews going on. I mean, they have this line set up with all the umbrellas. I would say it's gonna open maybe today, but I think they would have had these umbrellas actually all open, because it's gonna be a long line. I believe Brandon Fraser is still in the ending, so everyone's like really curious what's gonna be really changed, but it looks like maybe previews are going on, because they do have all the workers back. Bet you this bad boy opens tomorrow. In that case, we'll catch it some other time. And you know what? They've actually, I believe, got team member previews, and I did hear a little news on what is all new. The whole track is a lot smoother, the animations are a lot better, it's faster, it's just completely overhauled, which is nice. Maybe I'll enjoy this one now even more, because I'm technically kind of scared of this ride. You know what, maybe this is gonna be like a Obviously it's a cornfield, but I think they're going to be paying tribute to Wicked Growth from last year, which was the best haunted house last year. They're paying homage to that. I wish I would have gotten like a part two of that. I was actually just talking to my buddy Justin, and he was saying the same thing. But yeah, probably this weekend this is going to open. That's too any money. Of course, the food booths over there, those are always my go-tos for Horror Nights. I do kind of feel like we're missing out on the opening day, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll always be here. Well, it will always be here. More of the scare zone that they have. Interesting candy. Can we just take these? Nope. Just props. And of course, probably within a week or so, the Halloween Horror, Horror Nights Tribute Store will be open. Probably my favorite tribute store that they always do. Just because spooky time is KP's time of the year. Closer look at the design of the booths. We've got very scary Dracula there. Doesn't really seem like there's too much design to these. Very minuscule in uh, my opinion. I feel like they could have done a little bit better on these, but they're just food and drink booths. That's probably why they have a lower budget. A couple more right around the corner. Trick or treat vibe for this one. And this one's just kind of got a spooky, kind of insidious type feel. Or maybe the ring, that girl looks like the ring. I hate that movie, it's so scary. Comment down below if you guys have a movie of your childhood that always gave you uh, nightmares. The ring was mine. I would wake up 
terrified because of that movie, and I haven't watched it since. Ring is terrifying. Wow. Quick look at this construction project. That whole building is getting ripped down. Rethemed. Making way for minions. Minions, minions, minions. A lot of construction at the first half of Universal, which is nice. We like to see new things. I was okay with Shrek 4D going. Wasn't one of my favorites. And honestly, the park today didn't really seem too crowded. Don't know how I missed this, but this whole section also has refurb walls up. You can't even go in between these buildings. We got a concrete update, guys, on the other side over here. I've got no idea what they're doing. If anybody knows, do me a favor, comment down below. That whole street closed. Look at this. I mean, this isn't really in like a lot of people travel this area, but an idea of how crowded it is. It's not really bad. Today's a Friday as well. Today is a Friday. With that, everyone, I think that's pretty much all I really have planned for today's video. Lots of updates here. The reasons why I haven't been coming. Didn't really want to hop on any rides today. We'll save that for like a dedicated ride day. But um, yeah, Halloween Horror Nights right around the corner. <laughs> and we're not going to be here. We're going to be on a cruise, baby. Just in case any of you guys wanted to, you're gonna update your admission ticket to a pass at a kiosk. They make it so simple for you to spend money. It's smart. <sighs> Today would have been a better day to go to Volcano Bay. This heat is just brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. These low crowds are only gonna last a couple weeks. But this is because school has started back down here in Florida. Look at this. There's even no stream coming in right now. Primarily hotel guests. Can you guys see? Like the sweat dripping down my face. Oh my god, it's so hot. Um, but that's going to be it for you guys' daily dose. Um, just an update on lots of stuff. You guys got the gist of it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Where um, maybe they go to Epcot. And try some new foods. Who knows, I'll figure it out later. All right, so you guys have a glorious, great, beautiful, beautiful day. Look, no universal sign, no way. Still not here. It's never coming back. Jump around.